All right, I got here a 2018 Toyota Sienna. The story with this one is they put an engine in it. It was running fine. They went to do brakes and it was still running fine, they said. And then, I'm not sure they pulled it out and then after it just wouldn't start. It's a crank no start. So I definitely got a tack. So we got an RPM signal, I'm not worried about that. Um, the security light's not on, so let's do a code scan. I think he told me there was ignition coil codes. He replaced the, he didn't replace it. Um, he cleared the codes and then a different one came on. I'm running on their booster pack, so I hope it doesn't die. I really should hook up a maintainer. I have a check brake system now. That could be because the key's on. All right, we got coil codes for all them. Sexy yeah, for all the coils. So most likely we're gonna have one bad coil or we're gonna miss some power. All right, let me get, let me get a diagram. Just look at this quickly. Man, I'm just gonna look at a diagram for the powertrain management. Okay, I just wanna see the coils. Here we go, here's all the coils. Let me just see where they get power from and ground. They share power and ground. That's the B plus. It's all one wire. It comes from uh, come on. It comes from the injector fuse 10 amp. Okay. That's hot and on or start. And then there's a ground which is grounded in front of the engine. Fine. Now there's also, you see there's two signals. There's an IGF2. Well, that's because we're on number two because the coil, let's say. So there's the IGF2 and the IGT. So the IGT is the signal from the computer telling it to turn on. It's five volt. And the IGF connects all the coils together. And it goes back to the computer also. But it just, it's a reference circuit to tell that they're all working. So you'll see a pulse for each coil. Now if one coil shorted, a lot of times it'll mess up that signal and then it thinks they're all not firing so it doesn't let the car start. So I'm gonna shut this off for now. Let me just go get some tools and we'll test it. I'm gonna test right here. This is coil number two. So actually this is the aftermarket one right here. Um, Delphi Technologies. Um, these are OEMs. Just to make sure there's nothing obvious missing. Where's the ground wire for it? In front of the engine. I think it's right here, the ground for all the coils. Uh, it looks solid. All right, I'm just gonna turn the key on. Well, ignition on, no key. All right. Let me go test. Alright, so I'm going to test right here the coil. Well, that's the ground. I forgot which color is the power. Light green. Now right, we're on coil number two. So the regular green wire on pin number one. Okay, so it's one and four. This is the power on the ground. Now this should light up. And it does. So we got a good power on ground. Now I'm going to assume that's for all our coils. Now I'm going to put a scope on. Which one is it? On the IG. IGF on the light green wire right here. All right, so I got the scope set up. Um, I knocked off my ground. All right, so we got two channels. One is the channel A is the IGF circuit, which is for all the coils, and channel B is just for the this coil, coil number two. All right, I'm gonna go crank it. Okay. 
Okay, now the car is running. I don't know what I did. Well, let's go see what we have on this belt while it's running. We got a lot of smoke pouring out of the exhaust. Honestly, it looks like we have either a back coil or a background. I'm gonna pause this. Shut the engine. Alright, let's see what we have here. I'm gonna bring it in the car. Alright, so looking at this now, I don't know if you can see, but I think I have a screw and cord on. Um, it looks like we have a bag around. Here we have uh, ignition strike on cylinder number two. Alright, now the IGF, wait, is it missing every other one? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I think there's two IGF circuits. Okay, I, I, yeah, I think there's two different ones. Fine, so we're just reading the front ones. Um, but look at this every time there's a coil strike There's a the current the voltage goes up on this line, which is supposed to stay at zero And it doesn't now what could the thing that would probably cause that is a bad ground So now the car started because I did touch that ground See right now we're at 860 millivolts every time that coil fires And only goes up to Let's say three almost four volts it really is looking like a bad ground. Let me go test these grounds again. Let's see, does the car still start? All right, now it's running, but it's misfiring. It's not running smooth. Let me see the codes. All right, so we just have permanent codes now for A, B, and C coil. And the uh, engine coolant temperature sensor, one circuit high. All right, but it starts, but it's not a good start. Let's go into the PCM. That's pretty cool. It was good enough to light up four amps, but it's definitely something, still something wrong with it. Fires. There's nothing, it's not monitoring anything. It's actually pretty smooth now. Let's put it in drive. Yeah, I really think that ground's no good. Let me check them out the scope so I don't have to bring this back out. I'm gonna touch these grounds lightly. Let me go, I want to scope this one more time. Now I'm just going to hook this guy up. See that? It's still doing it. I don't know if you can see, but it's still jumping up. Now I'm just going to check these grounds here. One's good. And that one's good. All right, I'm gonna go look up where this ground is. All right, I'm 
I'm gonna go find this diagram so we know the grounds. Go to engine compartment. What do we have? A 2GR FKS. So this one. Okay, we need B6. B5. Ah, oh, it's a total different spot. Okay, I was looking at the wrong grounds. So right down there is a ground that we need. Okay, somewhere here. Oh, I see it. So right there is grounds. I'm assuming that ground is loose. I'm gonna stick my hand in. And I touched it and installed. There you go. It's a loose ground right there. All right, so right here I touched it and installed. And if I put my hand down there, it moves. So I'm gonna tighten this bolt over here. I think it's a 10 millimeter. 10 millimeter. All right, let's see if I can figure this out. Yeah, it's definitely loose. All right, it's tight. Let's make sure. Let's start it back up. Okay. Starts right up. Read four codes. We have some front camera on available codes. Okay, this is because I disconnected stuff. All right, let's turn this off. Clear the DCs, yes. Okay, anything came back? No, perfect. There we go. All right, so that's why the camera light was on. It was just dental light. Let's check the thing. There we go. Let me just show you on the scope that it's fixed. Around this right here. Go to the ground and nothing. All right, just a loose ground. All right, thanks for watching.